Hi, Ryle. Gillis, don't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry, Ryle. I got a message for you. Yeah? From yeah. who? Well, I hate to be the one to tell you, but Hawkins wants to see you in his office right away. Hawkins, the foreman? Yeah, that's the one, Ryle. See, I hope the next guy they get is as nice as you, buddy. Oh, thanks, Gillis. I... What do you mean, the next guy? Well, let's face it, Ryle. Hawkins ain't inviting you up to his office for tea. You mean he's going to fire me? Well, let's not put it that way. Let's say he's going to give you an indefinite leave of absence. Well, what did I do wrong? Today or yesterday? Well, Gillis, I can't afford to lose my job. I got a wife and I got kids and I got... You got any of those? U.S. savings bonds? Yeah. Oh, sure. I signed up for the payroll savings plan when it first came into the plant. Well, then they'll tide you over till you find something else, Ryle. Yeah. I wouldn't worry, Ryle, because a guy like you'll get a job just like that, you know? Yeah. Hawkins is waiting for you, Ryle. Yeah. You better hurry, Ryle. I hope he's got plenty of those. Hi, Gillis. Hi, Peg. These are some groceries from me and Honeybee to help you weather the storm. I figured there's no use in cashing in your savings bonds until you have to, you know. Uh, weather what storm? Well, didn't Riley tell you? Riley isn't home yet. Oh, the poor guy. See, he can't even face you. What happened? He got fired. Oh, no! Yeah. Hey! Hey! Riley! <laughs> Peg, wait till I tell you. Right, oh, you don't have to put on an act. I already told Peg you were fired. For your information, Mr. Gillis, I did not get fired. Peg, I wish you'd have been there. The foreman called me into his office. If you got a raise, I quit. If you don't mind. The foreman called me into his office and asked me to be a canvasser. Oh, that's great. What's a canvasser? Well, you know the payroll savings plan where you get U.S. savings bonds Sort of on installments. Mm, it's one of my best friends. Well, a canvasser is a guy, well, you know, one of the employees who goes around to the other employees, telling them about the payroll savings plan and signing them up for it. Well, then you didn't get fired, huh? <laughs> After I said yes, Hawkins sent me upstairs with the other canvassers to have a meeting with Mr. Cunningham. You've heard of Mr. Cunningham, the big boss. Yes, I know who he is. Well, I was in his office. Oh, he owns the whole place, and I was in I his know. office. Well, we all sat down, and Mr. Cunningham gave us a little talk. Oh, it was wonderful, Peg. Well, what did he say? Well, first he congratulated us on being picked canvassers. It's, it's kind of an honor, you know. They yeah. don't just ask anybody. You oh. know. Some bosses just want to send out form letters about payroll savings. But Mr. Cunningham, he thinks he'd get better results with the personal approach. Each canvasser talks to about 18 or 20 employees. Let me ask you a question. What does Cunningham get out of this? Well, he doesn't get a cut, if that's what you mean. He, he did tell us that the payroll savings plan makes less money worries for his employees, and if they don't worry as much, they don't have as many accidents or miss work as much. Besides, I'm sure Mr. Cunningham is as interested in helping his country as Riley is. You know what he said, Peg? He said that when I tell the people I work with about savings bonds, I help them, I, I help the company, I help the community, and I help my country. Oh, I know you do, dear. And I'm very proud of you. <laughs> well, thanks, Dublin. Now, how's supper coming? I'm hungry. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, good. What's in here? Oh, lay off of my food, Riley. If Gillis was smart and invested in savings bonds, he wouldn't have to borrow food from his neighbors. Peg. Yes, dear. I, I wonder why they picked me. Because they thought you'd do a good job. Yeah, I, I guess so. Peg. Yes, dear? I wonder why they thought I'd do a good job. Mm, because... I haven't had any experience in this kind of work, you know, selling. Remember when I tried to sell that 24-volume encyclopedia of birds that Gillis taught me into buying? <laughs> I remember, dear, but... <laughs> you still got it in the garage. And... Remember how I tried to unload that antique vase from a lost civilization that said made in Chicago on the back? Riley. I couldn't sell that either. Riley, those were white elephants you were trying to sell. You can hardly put them in the same category with United States savings bonds. But that's not the point, Peg. That is the point, dear. For a change, you're selling something valuable. Look what savings bonds have done for our family. They put Babs through college, and they're keeping Junior there now. Yeah. 
Savings bonds gave us the money to buy this house. Yeah. They're a fund for emergencies. And when the time comes for you to retire, they'll take care of that, too. Oh, yeah, Peg, I'm sold, but I I'm worried about selling other people. I I've got to talk to about 20 people at the plant, and, and they're pretty tough customers, some of them. They're, they're... Now, you take Gillis, for instance. He... Peg, that's it. That's it. Gillis, he's the toughest customer in the whole world. If I can convince him to sign up for payroll savings, I can convince anyone. You're probably right. I'll go up and sound him out right now, huh? I'll see you later, Peg. I wonder if he's in a good mood. I'm gonna report him to the union. That's what I'm gonna do. What for? Well, the union wants to put over the payroll savings plan, too. Yeah, Riley's a member in good standing of the union, but when they find out that he's in on it, I'll... Hello, Gillis. Hello, honey. Dear. Hi, Ryle. I didn't think you were speaking to non-canvassers. Jimsy's jealous because they picked you ahead of him. I am not. Well, there's no reason to take it personally. It's just a case of where the best man won out, that's all. What do you want, Riley? As an official hand-picked canvasser for the payroll savings plan... Wait a minute, uh, Riley. What are your... you doing? I'm practicing my sales technique. That's what I thought. Now, look, I had a rough day oh, today. Oh, come on, Jimsy. Let him practice if he wants to. It won't take much time. Okay, practice. Go ahead. Now, look, just because we're friends, I don't want you to take it easy on me. See, be as tough as you can. Go all right? ahead. All right. As an official hand-picked canvasser... Wait a minute, Ryle. The... Wait a minute. You want to do it right, don't you? Oh, sure. Well, then start in the beginning. Huh? You go on outside and ring the doorbell. I'll pretend that I don't know you. Uh, I'll forget that you're my friend. Yeah. Yeah, after all, I won't know all the people I'm going to talk to. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ring the bell. All right. Bell. Ring yeah. the bell. Uh, okay. Remember, I don't uh, know you. You ready? I don't know you. Go ahead. All right, stranger, what are you selling? As an official... We don't want to... any. Uh, Gillis, uh, open up. It's me. <laughs> Come on, Gillis, quit kidding. It's, it's... Gillis. Gillis, open up. Gillis, open the door. Oh, Gillis, this is a... What a revolting development this is. <laughs> <laughs> 